The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Man, listening to the reaction this guy gets from a crowd never gets old. They've been buzzing about this one ever since this match was announced. And approaching the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris Jericho! Here comes WWE's first ever undisputed champion, Chris Jericho. And since that time, Jericho's added even more gold to his trophy case. Whoa, it looks like he hasn't missed many gym sessions. There's no telling what these competitors will do in Extreme Rules, but I can guarantee we're about to find out. Dean Ambrose is really going to town right now. Extra slow getting back to his base here. It don't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. The O oh, and he eats the canvas. It's no surprise that someone the likes of Dean Ambrose would utilize a lethal maneuver like his Dirty Deeds finisher. Oh, it's awesome. And so what's the story here for Chris Jericho? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their favorite arena to compete in. Make no mistake about it, this is getting ugly. Yeah, now we're just talking about his face. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Michael, you mentioned Dean Ambrose and his Dirty Deeds finisher. It looks like a descendant of the DDT. When Ambrose nails an opponent with that, you can hear everyone in the arena gasp at the same time. That move's annihilating. Nobody comes back from this. Oh, oh man, someone's got to stop this. Ferocity like this is in its own category. You don't launch an offensive like this unless your objective is to incapacitate your opponent. You have to assume that tonight is one of the 
favorite nights of the year for the referees, right? I mean, there's practically no rules to enforce. The only thing they have to worry about is declaring a winner. When you think of the time Dean Ambrose took to create his offensive armory, if you will, the Dirty Deeds is a finisher that reflects Ambrose in-ring offensive philosophy. Fast, lethal, and out of nowhere. Oh, Cole, you name them, and there's a really good chance they felt the force of the Dirty Deeds finishing move, courtesy of Dean Ambrose. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Not today. Too fast. We're looking at complete domination here. Dean Ambrose takes the upper hand here. There may be no fighting out of this. Last over with a rebound, Larian. Oh, that had to hurt. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Look out what's going on here. Oh my God, I can't believe what we've seen thus far. What can possibly happen next? Look at this! Could it be? Oh my God, right through the table! Whoa, that's gonna leave a mark. This is awesome. Watching the superstars file into the arena earlier today, you could tell that they have a just a different mindset. I mean, they know the dangers that go along with competing in extreme rules. He's going to take another chance. And I can't believe it. Not again. Back where it belongs. In, look at this. Hand tackle. Incredible. Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight, a city that has hosted several WrestleManias, including the second leg. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Looking to fly. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. And that implement connects again. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Ah! And that's a hard landing to the outside. Wow, he's still down after that. I'm not sure I can watch this. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Back between the ropes. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. <gasps> Warm up the buses. This one's over. Another shot for good measure. This is when you know you'll pull out anything you need in order to put away your opponent for good. And that will give you a negative attitude.
How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Oh, like he says himself, things have to get worse before they can get better. That's what's happening right now. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their favorite arena to compete in. to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Quick thinking to avoid that. If you want to cripple your opponent, I guess you could say mission accomplished. Yeah, this guy's hurt and bad. Uh-oh, climbing the turnbuckle. He takes to the air. Wow. <laughs> Dean Ambrose has his eyes on his target, folks. Perhaps Dean Ambrose has this match won now, people. Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight, a city that has hosted several WrestleManias, including the second leg of WrestleMania 2. Very impressive. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live, just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. These attacks to the neck, Michael, are clearly part of a larger overall plan, you think? Again, proving why you're the best analyst in the business. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. mark on your face. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh, man, now you're talking about beating the tar out of somebody. We're going to see who has what it takes to win and who might be gone for good. Going for it again. Well, we're on the move here. Man. He's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. And incoming. Good night. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. Heads up. Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here.
The ref's out. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. Why is the guy his opponent and what's he going for here? Showing a great deal of faith and trust in that move. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. This could be big. This could end it in a hurry. Rebound, Larry and Ambrose knows this one's just about over. Oh, Dean Ambrose, I'm telling you, this guy knows what to do in that ring. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be able to go. Not this, he's looking at it again. Oh, Dean Ambrose, Dean Ambrose. Oh, <laughs> makes the cover. One, two, three, what a win. Man, he's gotta feel great. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. It's a win here tonight for Dean Ambrose. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it in there. Great match. And I'll tell you, the roof nearly blew off this place in Rosemont when the bell finally rang to end this one.